Welcome back, and so we're back after Memorial Day, and here's um, Devin and Zach working on um, putting these um, fiberglass things onto the frame for the uh, wing fixture jig that's going to hold the wing skins in place when we bond them up. So that's sort of uh, moving along. And back on the wing spar plugs, you'll see the area there in the sort of corner there where it's still pink. For some reason when I ran the machine on there, it just basically sort of overcut that a little bit. So we're sort of working on filling that. But anyway, it's moving along. And uh, there you can see Brian, that's Keith's brother, he's in to help us for the summer. So one extra pair of hands on board, which is good. And uh, so a bit of a full team now. And here's Jeff just working on these uh, brackets that hold the um, retraction cylinders for the main gear. So he had bonded them together the other day, but then he put um, some carbon fiber sort of in the middle there just to reinforce those. And you'll see that here in a second. He's just removing the peel ply from the outside there. And there you can see how the carbon fiber is on the inside. And of course, he's trimmed it all off and got it all looking neat neat and nice so uh, those mount uh, on the lower end of the uh, main spar cap and as you'll see here in a second the retraction cylinder is bolt up to that so that's kind of how that works and uh, that's what is going to be pulling the gear up and down so everything's getting close to being done with all the bracketry now for the landing gear retraction mechanism for both the main gear and you'll see in a little bit the nose gear as well so the guys got all those fiberglass pieces bolted to that frame and so it was my turn to get it up on the machine and uh, start milling the curvature of the wing skin surface into those uh, ribs so you know we get the shape of the wing but anyway you'll see more of that. And meanwhile um, we're sort of heading towards getting these seat mounts done so the next thing that we needed to do is uh, create some little uh, sort of stiffener walls in the middle of the keel in here just to stop any sort of compressive forces sort of squashing the walls of the keel in because of the seats are cantilevered they just needed and when we when mark ran the fea they need a little bit more support so basically that's what we're doing putting these there and they'll just be bonded in place and they'll have a hole cut out so we can run the, the controls through them uh, but here you can see we just created a template and jeff cut those out of the carbon fiber that we laid up quite a while ago uh, just flat stock and they just need to be bonded into place now and as I said just some, with a hole c cut in the center so we can run the control system uh, through there. And you might recall when we bonded the aft pressure bulkhead into place we had this little A bracket there that was also um, bonded in and because of the fitment there I had to relieve the flange from it and so in order to sort of compensate for that we basically had to sort of tape it up there so you can see Jeff put carbon fiber on both sides there where it mates up to the pressure bulkhead there right in the center of the screen you can see and also in the bottom corner just to reinforce that. So uh, we're getting close to being able to put the roof on but we're still we're working on uh, some last minute changes to how the control systems work um, before we start to do that. And I've been pretty busy on getting all the um, pieces together for Brit for the nose gear retraction system so I created a little jig for him there so he can weld these pieces into place and um, again also too I created a little jig for the other part which you'll see here in a minute. So this is the upper part and the one that you saw just now is the lower part. So all these pieces I basically cut all these by hand um, and uh, you know cleaned up all the ends so they're ready to weld and created a fixture jig for it. So it's been a bunch of time doing this and we didn't use the laser cutter this time just because they were busy still doing the main gear and we just wanted to get this done. So anyway that's all ready for Brit now. And here we are back on the machine a little bit further along here. just want to show you the progress. So. Um, as you can see just cutting out the shape of the upper wing skin so we'll, when we uh, lay up the wing we'll put the upper wing skin in first and then start putting the ribs into place and we can put pressure on them to bond them into place and then ultimately put the uh, put the spar and then the lower skin on there and then bond it all up and meanwhile I've also been working on uh, getting the next plug ready so this is the aileron spar and this one parallels the main spar it's a little bit narrower and smaller um, but it's, and it doesn't you know, have the full length that reaches up the winglet. It just sort of curves around the transition there. And this is what it looks like with the flanges on there. So that one's all ready now pretty much. Still got to create some of the tool paths for it, but it's pretty much ready so the guys can start creating the platform for that. And that'll possibly be sometime next week or the week after. We just want to get these other ones done first. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week. And thanks again for watching.